Hi there, this is Wyatt, the designer of Stubby the Hexapod. Stubby is an evolving hexapod robot design, which is helping me and my children to learn about robotics. While the robot itself is completed at this point, I have more ambitious plans for the future. Specifically, I'm planning on adding a Bluetooth module to allow for communications with the computer, ultrasonic range finders, and perhaps light sensors to allow for the, the, the robot to sense its environment. The most exciting part of this project, however, is the computer software which ties it all together. I will write a software module, probably in Python or wiring, which facilitates bi-directional communication with the robot to control movement and read sensors. This module will allow for an easy introduction to programming uh, for children and will include concepts such as calling functions, creating and reading variables, executing control loops, and checking conditional logic. When you are learning to program for the first time, it is much more exciting to see an actual robot bow to your wishes, rather than see Hello World printed in the text console. My plans for using this module and program are fairly simple. For instance, you could write commands to move backwards, read the current distance to the wall in front of it, rotate until there is no obstacles, and then move forward until you see an obstacle. I've already designed a breakout board to allow for the cheap Bluetooth module, which you can uh, connect to the computer, and it should be arriving within a week or two. Adding a mount for the ultrasonic distance sensors will not be too difficult. All that remains at this point is the computer side software, which will be much easier thanks to my six-year-old daughter's beta testing. My hope is that this project will help my children gain an understanding of programming concepts and to think in a logical and methodical manner. It may not change the world, but it will definitely change their lives. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please visit my website or the hackaday.io blog for details.